might know where, where your seat is. No, I don't. I think we're at the very end, I believe it. I'm going to wait until I get some uh -huh. direction. Uh -huh. Right. Isn't that student center beautiful? Oh, I love it. Isn't it? That's it. And that again, that's how we're bringing the students in to do more things instead of going out. We let, we let them compete. We let them go, but we don't. Well, I'll tell you, I think it's amazing. I'm so happy with everything.
Hello. Nice to meet you. Oh goodness, hopefully not too much. <laughs> so I get a little more light on the face. Nicole? Perfect. And then can we get a picture of you and Harriet the baby? Yes. Here's Harriet on this side so we have a baby in the middle. Thanks. Here, you know what? Turn around so that you're facing up. Yeah. <laughs> she has no idea what's going on. Right. Is 
that right? Oh, look who's coming. Maybe we get him in a, in a photo. Jeffrey? Jeffrey? Two pillars. pillars. On the end. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now you smile.
Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeffrey Greer. Welcome to Greer School graduation, the class of 2022. In these times of shorter and ever shorter attention spans, and being that I'm under a strict time limit, I'm reminded of a quote from Franklin Delano Roosevelt, which I shall apply to my own speech today. Be sincere, be brief, be seated. <laughs> Thusly, I have divided my speech today into three short acts. Act one, the past. 55 years ago, almost to the day, my father Douglas stood in this very spot and delivered his first commencement speech as director of Greer School. Wistfully, I must convey to you, oh, what large shoes it is my duty to fill today. On the heels of my father's 53 years of devoted service to this school. Sadly, my father can't be with us today, but I continue to be inspired by the fine example he set over all those years. Act two, the present. I love Greer School. Greer School is like a third parent to me. It's like a second child to my wife and to myself. I would kindly ask Greer School's graduating seniors, whom I consider family, that you allow me to please invite my mother, Harriet, my wife, my partner, really, in all things, Nicole, and our daughter, Auden Reed, onto the stage with me as I humbly come before you for the first time as director. Now, most importantly, Act Three, the present and the future. Well, the present and the future is rather obviously you, the graduating class of 2022. It's you. It's all about you now. You know, you've got this. You represent the finest of Greer School. You are the photographers from the photography club, the dancers from the dance program, the musicians from the music department, budding scientists from our science division, budding politicians from our student council, actors from the drama club, and riders from the equestrian program hard-working students from the host of programs offered by our stellar faculty and instructors. My most serious point of the day, please. I want you to be proud of what you leave behind how you have influenced your underclassmen, supported your peers, and empowered the next class and the class after that to follow in your footsteps. If my great-great-grandfather Lemuel, Greer School's founder way back in 1853, could only see you now, the same goes for my father, Dr. Douglas Greer. My mother, Harriet, my dear wife, Nicole, Auden Reed, and I, we join the legacies and the spirits of Lemuel and Sarah 170 years ago, Mary and Alvin 130 years ago, Solveig and Thomas 100 years ago, and wish each of you our most heartfelt congratulations.
Now, as the saying goes, coined by Tennyson, and which has meandered through this mountain campuses, halls, glens, and hollows for well over a century, follow the gleam, and good luck to you as you march forward into the next big chapter of your life. Bon voyage, and thank you. Thank you. fellow students, friends, family, and faculty, and congratulations to the graduating class of 2022. For everyone that doesn't know me, my name is Ariola Afolayo, but if you do know me, you probably just call me Erin. Um, today, I'd like to share a story of the transformation that I've had as my time as a Greer student. Before I arrived at Greer, I spent a whole summer practicing my American accent by watching hundreds of episodes of Hannah Montana and other American television shows. When I got here, I felt obliged to introduce myself as Erin from South Carolina, a girl with Nigerian parents, but who was not Nigerian herself. I embraced parts of my identity that made me feel safer in a space where I, now more than ever before, was a minority. In 10th grade, I would often find myself stepping out of my room to talk to my parents in a Nigerian accent and in my Yoruba language, just so my roommates and friends wouldn't hear me. I can't pinpoint the exact moment where I felt my transformation occurred. Perhaps it was during the long, rough school year spent online where I had countless opportunities for self-reflection, or perhaps it was watching my mother uh, be unapologetically herself. But my growth presented a whole new perspective I had never seen before. My grandmother once told me that confident people aren't people who feel no fear, but people willing to use their fears to their advantage. In other words, something worth fearing is something worth doing. Although my grandmother couldn't be here with us today, she passed on a message that would be used to define my personal principle in life. This school year, the same drive that forced me to overcome my fear of roller coasters also drove me to overcome my fear of being the most authentic version of myself. So I offer this as a challenge to seniors and everyone here to embrace your fears and discover the most authentic version of yourselves. I am honored to be a part of the graduating class of 2022, arguably the funniest, most dedicated, passionate, loving, and synergistic class at Greer School. I'm exceedingly proud of our many achievements and wish you all luck and success in your post high school pursuits. And so once again, congratulations to everyone here. everyone. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Nova Percio and I'm from Evansburg, Pennsylvania. My earliest memory of Greer is begging my big sister Estella not to move to boarding school because I was terrified to ride the bus to sixth grade alone. I resented Greer for taking my big sister away from me and I swore that I would never make the same mistake. However, after watching Estella thrive as a Greer girl, my narrative quickly changed from why does Estella go to Greer to when can I go to Greer? In 2017, I began my eighth grade year at Greer with the perfect plan. Take all honors classes, continue dancing as a hobby, and ski in the winters. However, my perfect plan was soiled after my first day of Greer dance. I called my mom and told her that my new goal was to be part of Greer's pre-professional dance company, and that I had already tried to drop all my honors classes to fill my electives with dance. And skiing, 
No way. I couldn't possibly risk a setback in my newly acclaimed dance career. The past five years I've spent at Greer have shown me that straying from perfection can lead to something even more beautiful. At first, I remember feeling intimidated by my classmates. I was overwhelmed and excited by the culture and knowledge they were willing to share, but I felt out of place as a girl who grew up in a small town in Pennsylvania. However, <laughs> however, as soon as I let go of the idea of confining myself under the title of first student, then dancer, and above all, little sister, I discovered that I too had the versatility and individuality to hold my own as a Greer girl. I am graduating today with a plan that is much different from the perfect plan in my head at the start of eighth grade. However, I would not trade it for the community I've built, the memories I've made, and the sisterhood I've been a part of throughout my time at Greer. Growing up at Greer has taught me that sometimes you trade the perfect plan for the things you are passionate about and the people you love, which is the farthest thing from imperfect. Finally, I would like to say thank you to my little brother, to my big sister, to my dad, and especially to my mom, who is brave enough to give both of her daughters the opportunity to turn dreams into reality, even when no one understood why. Congratulations to the class of 22. We made it. Thank you. <laughs> everyone, my name is Yasmin Ghaffari. Welcome family, friends, and teachers. Thank you all for being here to celebrate the graduating class of 2022. I'm sure on your way here, you passed by the pineapples this morning. If you aren't familiar, they're the stone statues that make up the gateway to campus. And as a day student, they made up the site that welcomed me every single day. In Mrs. Salyard's class, we learned that back when Greer was established in the 1850s, pineapples were a symbol of welcome. Throughout my experience at Greer, I found that to be nothing but true. I remember walking through the pineapples for the first time at 12 years old and being taken aback by the natural and physical beauty of the campus. Even now, looking at a view I've seen a million times before, I am beyond grateful that I've been here for six years. But now I understand that while Greer is without a doubt perfectly picturesque, it is the people who make up the Greer community who contribute to the beautiful, accepting, and welcoming environment of the school. In my six years here at Greer, I've never experienced anything but teachers who are willing to take hours out of their days for extra help, are caring and genuinely invested in your academic success, and teachers who not only teach the subject matter at hand, but become role models in many aspects of life. Many teachers stick with, with you through your span of your time here, and several are coaches, mentors, and friends. In addition to the compassionate teachers, my peers, specifically the class of 22, has contributed to the welcoming nature of my Greer School experience. A lot of descriptors would be accurate for this graduating class, but one that has stuck with me is that we push each other. Not physically, although that has happened a few times, but we push each other to grow and to be better people every single day. As a grade, we are close enough where questions and debates are encouraged, and we continuously inspire each other to be better versions of ourselves. Over the span of our respective experiences at Greer, we all have not only individually matured, but contributed to the growth of our classmates. In a couple of hours, we will walk past the pineapples for the final time as Greer students. But in this instance, rather than welcoming us into the nurturing campus of the Greer School, they will be welcoming us into our future. I am confident that I and every single one of my classmates here with me have the skill set required for success in all upcoming endeavors because of the growth that the Greer community has fostered within us. Good luck to everyone up here with me today and congratulations for making it. Good day everyone, my name is Tiasia Williams and well I can't believe this is real. It really is true, it's never really real until it happens to you. These next few moments at which you will hear me speak were once unimaginable for a freshman year T. 
undescribable, which are my current rush of emotions, and surely sentimental for my family and I. What a journey it has truly been. I stand here forever grateful and appreciative of the opportunities, lifelong lessons, and distinctive exposure I've collected throughout these past years at the Greer School. But how these years flew by. The, mo the memory of my first time on campus still remains fresh and vigilant in my mind. That scent of old maids, empty drawers, awaiting my clothes, and trees so tall and reposed. Suddenly, I felt at home. I'm so grateful for the friends and irreplaceable memories that have been shared over these past four years. Simply unforgettable. Here at the Greer School, I learned how to discover and establish the fiery spirit within me. Through tears and stages of disbelief, I've now better come to understand who I am and the person I want to be. Thank you to my role models and those who said it was impossible. I needed that, to exchange that energy into something magical, something I will carry with me through the days to follow. As difficult as it is to part a place that fills my heart, I look forward to my future endeavors and brand new experiences. I will forever have respect for the Greer School for everything it's taught me and the sincere foundation it upholds. From peanut butter toast to those I love most, I thank my parents, family, the Greer family, Mrs. Borse, Jossie, Danielle, Emily, and the entirety of the Greer School and community. I wouldn't be here without all of your love and support. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. My name is Abby Gustafson. Thank you all for coming to Greer today to celebrate the class of 2022. From an outside perspective, Greer looks small. But after four years here, I can tell you that Greer is anything but small, as we stretch all around the world in terms of the countries that we are from and the cultural knowledge that we hold. From a girl, as a girl from Pennsylvania, learning in my first language of English wasn't anything out of the ordinary. But I quickly learned that for many of my classmates, that wasn't the case. As a freshman, the Greer student body felt like a secret club, as I heard groups walk through the hallways and speak to each other in languages that I was not familiar with. I wished I could do more than eavesdrop and talk with them, but I couldn't simply ask someone for the secret password. I had to learn new languages and cultures in order to understand the people around me. Some of my greatest friends I have made at Greer come from Mexico and China, and therefore my desire to learn Spanish and Chinese came from a place of wanting to share something with the people that I love. I felt like I had fulfilled my own personal Greer experience once I was able to communicate in Spanish with my friends from Mexico and piece together sentences in Mandarin for my friends from China to decipher. I connected with my friends over a deeper, le deeper level over the shared, terrifying experience of speaking in another person's native language. Through these connections, I have learned that Greer is not a secret club, but rather a place of acceptance, learning, and growth. Nobody laughed when I tried to talk in a language that I didn't know, and if they did think it was funny, I'm grateful for how well they hid it. My dear friend Alex Zhao wrote in my yearbook, always remember your fabulous Chinese. Just review your numbers often so that you won't forget it. Thank you, Alex. I wish you were here today, and I definitely will. I originally believed that an all-girls school environment would be defined by the absence of boys, but now I know that Greer is defined by the people that are here the powerful young women who share their unique individual identities with the school. And upon coming to Greer, I had a goal to develop my own unique voice. And being at Greer has given me a voice in more languages than one. I have grown into the person I am today with the support from the entire Greer community, from the beginning of my time here to the end. My teachers, classmates, my teammates, and my roommate, you have all become my family. Thank you for giving me a voice. And to my family who is here today, thank you for traveling from near and far to always support me. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Gracias a todos, Xie Men.
Good afternoon. So now we're going to do some honors and awards. At this time, we would like to honor our senior student council officers for their hard work and dedication. When I call your name, please come forward. Student Council President, Natalia Rodal. <laughs> Vice President, Nicole Hobart. <laughs> Secretary, Hannah Neiman. And Treasurer, Simone Thomas. We all would like to thank you for your hard work and dedication. And I personally, you would not believe the number of times we've had meetings on the front porch with things, but especially also with Ms. Craigo, who is a wonderful advisor. Thank you, ladies. At this time, on behalf of the faculty, it is my privilege to award honors for the year. The National Honor Society accepts for membership those students who have demonstrated by their character, leadership, service, and scholarship that they are worthy of being members of the nationally recognized honor society. Today, you are hearing from our senior National Honor Society members as they give the graduation speeches. At this time, we wish to honor our current non-senior NHS members and those who recently were elected to the society. When I call your name, please stand and remain standing until I've listed everyone. Tara Buck. <laughs> Alexis Cow. Amen Dejun. <laughs> Debbie Gu. Jiwon Hong, Jillian Herzik, Estella Wong, Lucy Jin, Layla Kurtz, Chu Jun Lu, Coco Lu. Edie Manfred, Ava Joy Moreno, Amy Palos, Camila Ramirez, Kayla Marie Radcliffe, Anna Sauberg, and Yurun Sun. Congratulations. At this time, we would like to award the senior prizes. When I call your name, please come forward to accept your prize and just stay, stay up front. The James LaRosa Riding Prize is awarded to the senior who has shown cooperation and the greatest improvement in riding. This year we have two recipients, Grace Walker and Jimena Padilla. The Betty, oh, go ahead, absolutely. <laughs> the Betty Bingay English Prize, awarded to the student who has attained the highest scholarship in English, along with the power of expression and creative ability in English prose throughout the year. Again, this year we have two recipients, Samantha Cohen and Hannah Neiman.
The Eleanor Bowie Art Prize is awarded to the student of art who has excelled for the year in merit and faithfulness. Once again, two recipients, Sabina Salari Tones and Hannah Neiman. The Dance Prize, awarded to the senior whose artistic work in dance has been outstanding. And again, multiple recipients. Natalia Roldal, Tiasia Williams, Grace Cheney, and Nova Persio. The Drama Prize, awarded to the senior whose artistic work in drama has been outstanding. You know what I'm going to say. <laughs> this year, Clara Sussman and Lauren Saka. The Patricia Millicent Michaels Prize, awarded to an advanced language student who, with appreciation and understanding, has shown the most interest and serious effort in the study of language. For Spanish, Abby Gustafson. And for French, Jimena Padilla. The Jane E. Rowe Prize, awarded to the member of the music department who has excelled for the year in effort, improvement, and achievement. Sophia Prieto and Clara Sussman. The Music Prize, Awarded to the senior who achieved the most significant advances in the development of instrumental or vocal music. Hannah Neiman and Josefina Janakova. The Schaefer History Prize, awarded to the senior who has shown the most ability and interest in the study of history. Hannah Neiman and Jimena Padilla. <laughs> the Global History Prize, Awarded to the senior who has worked to bridge the cultural divide, learn about, accept others, and help to make Greer School a better community. Nicole Hobart and Hannah Neiman. The Wolcock Mathematics Prize, awarded to a senior who has excelled in the study of mathematics. This year's recipient, Emily Gao Wong. The Senior Science Prize, awarded to the senior who has been most conscientious in her study of science. 
Samantha Cohen. The Lemuel G. Greer Prize, donated by Mr. and Mrs. Alvin H. Clemens in honor of their daughter, Tracy Lynn Clemens, and awarded to the senior whose academic class rank is the highest for the year, Samantha Cohen. <laughs> the Sarah Boylo Greer Prize, bestowed by the faculty and staff upon a member of the senior class who has entered most wholeheartedly into extracurricular activities and who has derived the most benefit from them. This year's recipient, Simone Thomas. <laughs> the Jan Connor Prize bestowed by the faculty and staff upon a member of the senior class who exemplifies leadership, service, perseverance, and dedication. This year's recipient, Natalia Rodal. Okay, Rain. No. The Thomas C. Greer Memorial Prize, donated by Mr. Alfred W. French and awarded by the faculty to the senior who most exemplifies the simple qualities of human kindness and concern for the active dignity of daily living. living. Three recipients, Josefina Janikova, <laughs> Hannah Neiman, and Tiasia Williams. The Trustees Prize, bestowed by the faculty and staff upon the member of the senior class who has shown the greatest intellectual curiosity and academic motivation. This year, two recipients, Alex Zhao, who is not here at this time, and Samantha Cohen. The J. Richard Poisson Memorial Prize, bestowed by the faculty and staff upon the member of the senior class who has best displayed high ideals, a deep concern for others, kindness, love, but above all, understanding. This year's recipient, Jimena Padilla. <laughs> and finally, the Nancy Jane Davis Prize, bestowed by the faculty and staff upon the member of the seniors class whose influence in the life of the school has been most wholesome and helpful, judged on the basis of character, scholastic effort, and unselfish service. This year, that recipient is Natalia Rodol. Congratulations. Okay, we'll take a break to you put those umbrellas up. We'll just give it a second, though. 
Servers, if you would like to go up under the colonnade, please feel free to do so. <laughs> it's going to be fine. Are we good? Are we ready? All right. We're going to continue now with more National Honor Society speeches. coming to support us at our graduation ceremony. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Luli and I'm from China. I've been told by a friend that I'm really like a cat, not because how I look, but because how he feels about me. He feels that I'm unpredictable and moody. Another point is that I am often immersed in my own world. No matter how much I try to hide it, there is still a heartfelt unwillingness to contact the world and the people around me. And he said, I had a weird way of giving. You're really what I give is generally not what the people want. So I'm always, I'm always confused. And whenever I feel like I've given a lot to people and they don't give me the response I want, I feel really badly. So I asked him if he had any advice. He said, stop being a cat and transfer your personality into a dog. Get in touch with the world as much as you can and love everyone around you. But I said, my personality is settled down. I've decided to be a cat. It was only recently that I figured out why I feel poorly about not being rewarded, because I care too much about not only what I think, but also what others think of me. That is to say, once I do not get the ideal response, I will guess the person has a problem with me. And at the same time, I feel that my efforts are not worth it. And it is super hard for me to accept that someone doesn't like me and I overthink what other people think of me. As a result, I often suffer in friendships. However, all my pain is actually coming from me. I guess it's because I'm not a pure cat. Now I now tell myself to be a cool cat. I need to be concentrated on my own doing uh, on doing my own thing, not care about what other people think, and not care about what I've given to others. I also reminded myself that everything I do is worth it, and that real efforts is not accept, expect a return from others. In four years at Greer, except the things I've learned about friendships and academic knowledge. I learned a variety of other important lessons. For example, I get information about riding horses and playing volleyball, and they have become my long-term hobbies. If I look back on great years 10 years from now, I'm sure I won't regret any decision I made, whether it made me happy or sad. Now, on one of the most important days of my life, I would like to thank my family. Thanks to my dad, who always used his experience to inspire me when I'm lost. Thanks to my mom who took care of me in every possible way. Thank you to my elder sister who gave me a voice and has always been so supportive when I am uh, feel sad and most confused. Thanks to Dr. GB for giving me speech advice and Mrs. Clary for always encouraging me to write. Um, thanks to Crystal, Lauren, and Franny too for answering every question I had on writing. I've always missed my best friend Karen, Claire, and Alice. And with time we spent, I'd also like to thank my friend who tries to encourage me to be different than a cat. 
He helped me to able to explore the world and recognize clearly who I am now and will be in the future. A cool cat. Thank you. Welcome friends, family, and faculty. If you don't know who I am, my name is Nicole Hobart and I live in Rapid City, South Dakota. First, I'd like to thank you all for coming to support my fellow graduates and me. Second, I'd like to take a moment to reflect on the decisions we have made that have led us all to be gathered here today. My time at Greer has above all shown me the value of choice. My choice to attend Greer was the one that led me to stand here on this podium today. I have learned that it is my decisions, small or large, that have defined me and will continue to define me in the future. I have realized the value of self-determination and I know that it is my choices that will define my future. Standing here today, I reflect back on being 14 and arriving at the Greer campus, bursting with excitement at the new chapter of my life that would, that would unfold. I felt like I was in a world entirely different from the one I was used to. This campus, though beautiful, was unfamiliar. I remember being 14 and holding back tears as my mom drove away, knowing I wouldn't see her again for months. My excitement eventually overshadowed my sadness, and I delighted in the adventure that would be the next four years of my life. I recall the dread I felt after finding out that an afternoon sport was mandatory, and being utterly befuddled at what I would do with myself. I reluctantly decided on personal fitness, but I felt like I wanted to do more. The following marking period, I decided I would try riding. Though I had never ridden a horse, my adoration of animals led me to try the sport. Little did I know that my impromptu decision to try riding would lead to me spending a portion of almost every day of the rest of my years at Greer at the barn. I still remember my first lesson, having zero clue what I was supposed to do with myself. That first lesson spiraled into a love for riding. Though I still have a lot to learn, and I know, I know that I would not be who I am today were it not for my coaches. I'd like to thank Crystal Wood for being my instructor for the past three years. I'd like to thank every member of the barn staff who makes our sport possible, and I'd also like to give a special thanks to Roger, who not only provides exceptional work and care for the barn and its horses, but who also brightens the day of everyone who walks through the barn. Reflecting on how my journey through riding began reminds me of the importance of choice. Choice is what makes us as human beings different. Making our choices about what we do is crucial, and it is what gives us our individuality. The vast majority of us have a very special privilege, and that privilege is the beauty of choice. Many of us, including me, don't really give much thought to the choices we make. Of course, there are many things that shape our lives, whether it be our background, our academics, our genes, or even the simple factor of luck. These factors certainly shape and influence our lives. There is one thing, however, that is the most important factor in the outcome of our lives, and that is choice. For many of us graduating today, choosing to attend Greer was a monumental decision that has greatly affected the outcome of our lives. The excitement that I felt when first arriving at Greer parallels only the excitement I feel now as I prepare to, to attend university and study aviation. Though graduation is a big step, it is only one of the many, many steps we will take throughout our lives. Graduation is not an end goal. Rather, it is a milestone that provides us with the opportunity to seek out new ventures and aspirations. My time at Greer has shown me that the life is unexpected. The only person who can define my future is myself. Like always, there are socioeconomic factors that may confine our abilities, but at the end of the day, we still have countless possibilities and choices that affect what the future unfolds. Our lives consist entirely of decisions. Research has indicated that we make over 35,000 decisions each day. Without ever realizing it, almost every aspect of our days and lives results from decisions that we as individuals have made. So remember, despite what happens in the world around us, our decisions belong to us. As we leave Greer, we will make countless decisions that will define our future. Though this is the end of a chapter in our lives, it is just the beginning of a magnificent novel. Thank you. Dear students, classmates, faculty, and staff, and parents, thank you for attending today's ceremony. And for those of um, you who don't know me, my name is Jingyuan Han. And although many of may know me as Isabella, 
And I just arrived from uh, New York University. And during the past week, even though I was surrounded by different people and many dogs, I still feel disconnected and emptied. So I visited different kinds of restaurants by myself and filled up with delicious food. But I feel too materialistic and superficial from doing this. This is when I realized I was missing part of a huge component of life that I could not find elsewhere but in Greer. The tranquility and peacefulness of the beautiful things and the ex exquisite individuals of Greer. These are the things that fulfills my soul. And Greer is definitely a nourishing ground f as a small community for me. When I first come to visit Greer from Beijing, China, I saw two eagles circling in the low and gloomy skies. And I would like to compare all of us coming of age to these eagles I saw on my journey. In our future experiences, both we and the eagles will begin sorrow in the sky of the unknown. We'll say goodbye to the rest of the birds who are waiting for the rain to stop in order to pursue a journey of self-discovery. We'll face a lot of confusions and challenges that may only be dealt with uh, alone. But there is one tip I want to share with you that I have finally realized in the four years in, at Greer that helps me with any frustration time. Um, people are the same eventually at the end of life. Uh, you know, people leave and then they die. And if you have a little emotional fluctuation all alone, your summation of all your emotions, whether it's negative or positive, at the end of the journey will be at zero. And if you worked through a, a lot of hardship, your submission of your emotions at the end of the life will also be zero. So as I return from New York uh, for one last visit to Greer as my home, as an eagle preparing to leave the nest, I, off I offer these two challenges to other Greer girls and graduates. Realize what is important, no matter what your dream is, go and pursue it without caring about the judgment of the others. And most importantly, remember, while chasing your dreams, when you are in your deepest base, don't forget the light is shining both behind you and in front of you. And no matter how deep the dark is, there will always be a huger light waiting for you. Thank you, and congrats to the class of 2022. Good morning, everyone. My name is Natalia Rodel Fernandez. I'm from Mexico City, Mexico, and I've been a, a student at Greer since eighth grade. My homes have been marked by trees. I grew up playing under the shade of my grandmother's Nogales in Monterey and reading Rick Riordan's novels by my mom's Red Sangre Libanesa in Mexico City. When I first stepped on campus during Greer summer, I noticed the red Japanese maple tree standing watch in front of Shelter Oak, which is behind you. I fell in love with this tree during the summer, as friends and I constantly sat under its leaves and enjoyed the shade. The maple lost its leaves in October as it watched my friends and I run around campus trick-or-treating on cold autumn nights, and it stood draped in white, comforting my friends and me as we sled down Lodge Lawn on snowy days. I sat by the maple as it once again blossomed during the spring and passed it with a smile as I joined my fellow seniors in farewell bonfires as we celebrated the end of our high school journeys. Over five years, this maple marked the place I now call home. I am so thankful for the summer camp I stumbled upon five years ago for becoming the space that welcomed me and helped me be the Natalia I am today. I found an overwhelming passion for dance and made some of my closest friends within the program. I want to thank both Jossie Herzig and Daniel Bauer for welcoming me into their family with open arms and mentoring me through these five years. Not only did I transform as a dancer because of them, but my approach to life has become more focused on enjoying the journey, following my dreams, and working hard. Thank you to Mrs. Borst and the Greers for welcoming me into their community and making me feel at home. A big thank you to Dr. Burke for sparking my love for biology and encouraging me to pursue a career in the field. Thank you to all the teachers I have had over the years at Greer. Your instruction has, go has gone above and beyond only learning in the classroom. Thank you to all of my Greer friends, especially my fellow seniors, who have stuck with me through thick and thin and have made these past five years the best in my life. Finally, I would like to thank my family, my dad Armando, my mom Maru, my brother Armando, my sister Ivana, 
and my grandparents, Narcisa and Mario, for supporting my journey at Greer and encouraging me to follow my dreams. I have said my formal There we go. Yeah. OK. <laughs> I have said my formal goodbyes to the Japanese maple tree that marked my home at Greer. And I cannot wait to see what new tree will accompany me as I find my new home in the years to come. Thank you. Now for our presentation of diplomas to our amazing class of 2022. <laughs> Natalia Rodile Fernandez. Nicole Jamie Hobart. <laughs> Hannah Sophia Neiman. Aranola Afolean. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I jumped ahead. Simone Maggie Gibson <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> okay, now. Aranola Afolean. Samantha Cohen. <laughs> Yasmin Gafari. Abigail Howland Gustafson. <laughs> Isabella Ching Ran Hun. <laughs> Mackenzie Catherine Hearn. Celine Rebecca Jabour. <laughs> Nelly Alisa Kuyanen. <laughs> Nova Lucia Percio.
Emily Gao Wan. Lu Ling Wan. Tiaja Williams. <laughs> Karen Mong Mong Jung. Melissa Allsight. <laughs> Elisa Arias Belchef. <laughs> Leah Isabel Buck. Grace Cheney. <laughs> Miranda Bitar. Claire Yi Hing Chien. Paige Camille Cohen. <laughs> Samantha D'Souza. Lucy Marie Hammond. <laughs> Josefina Yonetskova. Madeline Kendris. <laughs> Celine Chi Ling Li. <laughs> Charlotte Elizabeth Moore.
Lola Navarro Matorena. Jimena Padilla Young. <laughs> Gaia Paniche. <laughs> Genevieve Payne. Natalie Pullman. <laughs> Maria Sofia Prieto. <laughs> Sydney Jean Richmond. Lauren Santori Saka. <laughs> Tatiana Yerevna Stendorovich. Jocelyn Sneed. <laughs> Sabina Solari Tonis. Allison Stortz. Clara Sussman. Leila Tate Thomas. Alexandria Tyler Vegas. Claire Cho Va. Mary Beth Van Sickle Waite. Grace Catherine Sean Walker. Yeah. Adriana Vesbeck Corral. Alice Sifan Chung.
And now for our wonderful in absentia and virtual class of 2022. Emma Corrado, Silvia Eugenia Davia, Marquez, Claire Xiao Chi Gao, Hannah Chi Yao Han, Xian Wu Ping, Becky Young Xi, Jie Yan Yi, Cindy Xian Yi Liu, Bin Tian Yuan, Karina Yi Jian Liu, Jessica Chiong Pham, Suan Fan, Eva Wu Jaja Chin, Fiona Hre Chin, Cassidy Elizabeth Rain, <laughs> Ellen Chiong Fang Chien, Jenny Nal Hyung Soen, Emily Xiao Suen, Xiona Takana, Ain Biao Tian, Charlotte Jia Mei Wen, Marcia Huen Hre Jong, Alex Min Si Jiao, Emma Tian Rua Ting. Speech to our alumnae. I would like to convey my excuse me. I would like to convey my congratulations and make just a few remarks to the newly minted class of 2022. When you received your diploma just now, you officially became a Greer School alumna. As an alumna, you will receive Greer all school reunion invitations specific graduating class reunion invitations, Greer School newsletters, and the annual alumni bulletin. There is a Greer School alumni bulletin database for you to access. Please keep your contact information up to date. Please tell us when you move. Send us your new mailing address. If you should marry and change your last name, Please inform us. The same goes for, and this is quite a mouthful, your email, cell phone, WhatsApp, WeChat, Twitter, Telegram, TikTok, QQ, et cetera, et cetera. The entire Greer School community, family really, wishes you good luck, good health, and success. May, may each of you go on to fulfill your dreams. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for coming today. I'm so thankful I can share this special moment with you. For those who don't know me, my name is Nelly Kriyanen, and I came to Korea at the start of my junior year from Finland. My year in Korea was meant to be only an exchange year, and I will return home after. Sadly, for my parents' wallet, I <laughs> fell in love with a couple of particulars in Korea. <laughs> One of them is the career spirit. What is queer spirit, you might ask? 
Career spirit is the atmosphere, the welcoming environment where other students always support and hype you up. It is the feeling I feel when I look into the eyes of my classmates and I feel safe and loved. One fitting example of the career spirit is prom, where all students dance and laugh together. But more importantly, I see career spirit every day in everyday life. I see it when I walk through the hallways and I see curriculars striving to achieve their goals step by step. Everybody in career has dreams, an ideal picture of future that they are going after. People in this school know how much effort they have put towards their goals and are focused on their own journey. We have our differences and difficulties, but career spirit unites us. And at the end of the day, I know that these amazing, capable women are there to motivate and push me to be my best self. Career spirit brings us together, not just as a student, but as a big family. In my time at the career, I have experienced this unforeseen support, no matter what my goals have been. When before, I would feel that my goals have been overambitious or unrealistic, career goals have made me feel that I do not dream too big. Instead, these beautiful and strong women are ready to help and support me in the journey towards my ambitions. So, I will talk to our now juniors, soon to be next year seniors. Keep the career spirit alive. It is a privilege that most people will never have opportunity to experience. The first half of the school year is challenging. You are applying to courses while keeping up with a heavy course load. You are in front of a new decisions as you craft your journey towards college. Senior year will be easier and much more fun as you support not just your friends, but all the great girls that you meet along the way. Keep marching together. Thank you. My name is Celine Jabour. Uh, I just want to thank everyone in the audience for showing up here and also give a big congrats to my fellow graduating class of 22. I can't believe I'm here right now. Uh, <laughs> anyways, when I first came to Greer, I was 11 years old. It does not register how long I've been here until I think about the Celine who first arrived at Greer. I made cow noises at strangers and I had a unibrow spanning half my forehead. Most importantly though, I remember a Celine who had no idea who she was. I quite literally grew into a person between the bounds of the day student lounge at the bottom end of campus and the music building on the other side. I first found the words to discuss the troubles of the world in eighth grade here with Mr. Lang, where he introduced me to the idea of feminism through a little poem. I discovered my love for music in seventh grade when I accidentally signed up for a beginner dance, or sorry, a beginner piano course. But um, I discovered my lack of dance prowess that same year when I accidentally went to a dance audition for the pre-pros. <sighs> Signing up for my first ever AP course in 10th grade taught me a much needed lesson in time management and work ethic, as it did for anyone else who stayed up until 4 a.m. to finish the monthly assignments for Miss Salyard's A-Push class the morning they were due. <sighs> I've fallen off countless horses, I've jumped in the pool fully clothed, and I am running on my 10th time showing up to school in a full body taco suit. <sighs> I've made friends spanning from China to Russia to Mexico to Nigeria. And I think that's the magic of Greer. These little stories mean a lot to me, but what means most is the overall message. These past six years of memories and experience have shaped me into the person you see standing here today. And I'm sure everyone standing up here with me can tell you the same exact thing, but through a different collection of stories. Be it the math department, the dance building, or even fiber arts class, every single Greer graduate has found their niche and eventually found themselves. I came to the Greer School when I was 11 years old. Now I stand here at the ripe old age of 17, clinging tightly to fond memories of my group past. I feel truly ready to enter the future which, with a much thicker sense of self and a much thinner unibrow. It's sad to say goodbye to the place that I've called home for almost a third of my life, but what I've learned at this school I know will stick with me forever. So thank you, Greer, for helping me learn who I am.
Sorry, I'm a bit tall. Okay. Hello, my name is Hannah Neiman, and today I would like to take some time to reflect on how I ended up at Greer. My dad is one of the most indecisive people you will ever meet. Whether we are choosing a restaurant for dinner or the next place we call home, he agonizes over it, trying to make sure that each and every detail is perfect. I am my father's daughter, and so choosing something as big as what school to attend haunted me. The first time I walked on Greer's campus, I stumbled around in a too big coat and shoes borrowed from my mama, ready to take in every detail. On the two and a half hour drive that is now engraved in my mind, my overthinking father told me something that I never thought I would hear from him. He said, just see how it feels when you get there. Sometimes you've got to go with your gut. Well, when I first walked into the art building, something about it felt like home. I don't know if it was the energy of the students or the view of the woods coming in through the windows that felt right, and I don't think I ever will. All I know is that in that moment, Greer became my home. But a house is not a home without the people. I have been lucky enough to meet the most talented, driven, and passionate people that inspire me to better myself in every way. One of my biggest thank yous has to go out to Ginger Reinhardt. Her warmth has made me kinder, and her knowledge and love of music led me to delve into it deeper. She is also the person that pushed me into a new passion, dance. During auditions, she encouraged me to pick up some classes, and now I can't imagine my life without it. I know that I would not be the performer or person I am without knowing Jossie Herzig. Thank you for all that you have done for me. And a big thank you to all the friends I've made along the way. I couldn't have done it without you. I may be leaving the people here, but the lessons that they have taught me will keep them with me forever. My biggest gut decision has altered the path of my life in the best way possible. When my dad took me to college tours this year, I kept looking for that same feeling he talked about. I found it in my new home, and I know that the balance of strict planning and letting go will serve me well there. Thank you, Dad. I love you. For those who don't know me, my name is Samantha Cohen. First off, I would like to welcome everyone and thank you all so much for coming to support the class of 22 as we celebrate this monumental milestone in our lives. We have so much ahead of us, but today I would like to talk about some of my experiences looking backward into my six years spent here at Greer. So, to the beginning we go. They say freshman year is difficult, but they don't tell you it will destroy your sense of self and send you spiraling into an existentialist crisis at the age of 13. They also don't tell you that there's a teacher in room 201 who can help you figure it all out. Nevertheless, the crisis will come and he will be here, there. When I first told Mr. Lang that I was starting to believe nothing in existence had any meaning, he did not argue. For the first time, an adult was listening to my thoughts with an open mind and had no intention of proving me wrong. Each day I returned with new feelings and ideas to unravel, and Mr. Lang simply smiled and invited me to continue working out the kinks, displaying deep empathy and active listening. As I continued to knit the string of my identity, Mr. Lang provided me with a safe space in which I never felt judged or attacked. Despite being my teacher, Mr. Lang spoke with me as if I was on the same cognitive plane as him, as if we were one and the same mentally. Without my even realizing it, Mr. Lang taught me to value my own worth as an intellectual being and to place myself on equal footing with those around me. As I continued on through my high school career, various other teachers took on similar roles, providing much needed solace in times of unrelenting stress and self-doubt. Ms. Barr's office became my go-to lounge for friendly conversation and chocolate, while Mrs. Kelly and I argued the ethics of decision making. If ever I lacked a reliable or trustworthy teenage friend, I was sure to find an employee of the Greer School with open arms. Now, entering a new, uncertain beginning in the strange southern world of university, 
I am sure to find myself equipped with the safe haven of self-worth established by the efforts of my dear friends, the Greer School teachers. So, for anyone with some time left here, know that helping hands can be found in every corner, guiding you towards beautiful new beginnings. I promise, even with rain delays, we're almost done. Before the next presentation, I need to take a moment to congratulate the class of 2022. These young women have endured more educational and emotional upheaval in the past two and a half years than most of us have endured in a lifetime. Two days ago, I was fortunate to listen to a few NHS seniors practice their speeches. I sat right here and just cried as their eloquent words took me back to when each arrived on campus for the very first time. It has been such an honor and a privilege watching them grow into the young women sitting before you today as Greer School graduates. A few brief notes about this class. Students have been here who have been here since the seventh grade are called lifers. This year, we have three lifers. Our class valedictorian, Samantha Cohen, and our two salutatorians, Yasmin Gafari and Celine Jabour. Congratulations. Yep, wave. <laughs> Another shout out needs to go to Charlotte Moore who was instrumental in designing the Instagram Senior Spotlight and College Acceptance posts for this class that we have all loved seeing on social media. Charlotte, stand and wave. There are always things going on with this class, but just yesterday, we learned that Nicole Hobart won the IEA Hunt Seat Senior Scholarship, Nellie Kujanin, won the IEA Dressage Senior Scholarship, Sydney Richmond and Sophia Prieto also won IEA Senior Scholarships for being the highest placing seniors at the IEA National Finals. Please stand and congratulate. <laughs> Believe me, I could go on and on about this class, but I would just like to say, Thank you to the class of 2022, these bright, beautiful, and talented young women, and to you, the parents, for sharing and trusting your daughters with us for their high school experience. Class of 2022, I love you. I will miss you, and I know that you are going to do amazing things in your next phase of life. Now, as I said, this class has endured so much the past two and a half years. But back on March 15, 2020, when schools all across the United States were ordered to shut down due to the pandemic, everything changed for the class of 2020. Eventually, the heartbreaking decision had to be made to cancel graduation. Of course, Greer School did whatever we could to try and make it as memorable as possible with a graduation video and a virtual faculty staff vehicle candlelight ceremony. But it was not the same. And while we cannot go back and change the past, occasionally we get the opportunity to do something to try and make a new memory. Earlier this month, I learned that a few of our 2020 graduates will be attending this year's graduation. At this time, if you are a 2020 graduate, please come forward onto the colonnade so that we can present you with the traditional bouquet of red roses that all graduates carry, carry during the ceremony.
I know there's Lily and Sydney and Safi and Estella and Lindsay. And who else am I missing? Please, please take your walk along the colonnade and come to the podium. Class of 2020. And now for our final prayer by our student council president, Natalia Rodal. Bless this new day to our use and us to thy service and keep us ever mindful of the needs of others. Amen.
Should I, should I go now?